Hey, it's Scott. And in the horrible event that you have to defibrillate a little kid, for many years, you remember, we used traditional paddles, and they're very much still out there and very much still appropriate. However, long before Corona slash COVID-19, many places, whether it's back in the rig or the ER, have transitioned to defibrillation pads. And with that in mind, here's a couple tips to make your life easy when it comes to using pads for adults or kids. The first of which is, if you're trying to figure out which pad for which size patient, read the package. It's not a trick question. On the outside of the package, if it's adult, it's labeled adult. Part two though is if somebody has already ripped open the package and they hand you the pads, you want to make sure it's for the correct size patient simply look at the pads. Because on the pads with various manufacturers, they will have pictures showing not only, number one, something that looks like an adult, cluing you in that it's for an adult. But number two, if it's been a while since you've put pads on somebody in cardiac arrest, it also reminds you where you go ahead and need to place them. Whereas this one shows that it should be placed up here this one on the picture shows that it should be placed down here. So if you've got a shock an adult, read the package. It'll say adult. And when it comes to where do you put the darn things, just simply look at the picture and it will show you where you need to place the pads. So in the truly horrific event, meaning you have to shock a kid, or even worse, you have to shock a baby. When you're trying to figure out with pads which size pad works for which size patient, just as on the big people side, before you do anything, you just read the package. Because on the infant or pediatric package, it gives you a couple pieces of information, first of which it's labeled infant, cluing you in that it's probably for an infant. Clue number two, it also says less than 10 kilos. That's important because if you're bigger than that, you can use the big people stuff. But if you're less than 10 kilos, otherwise known as a one-year-old, otherwise known as about 20 pounds, just simply if it says under 10 kilos or it looks like an infant, these are probably the ones you ought to use. However, if somebody has already ripped them open and they just hand you the pads, how do you make sure they're the ones you want is simple, just like adults, they look like a little baby or they look like a little kid. And if they look like a little baby or a little kid, you know what, chances are that's probably the ones you want to use. However, one of the other nice things though about using these pads is, not only do they remind you that it's for a baby or a kid, but you also notice that it shows you where you put them. The difference is, remember on adults, you put one right here just to the right of the sternum and the other right here on the apex. But when it comes to kids and babies, they like to go anterior or posterior. So since we don't defibrillate little ones every day, the way you remember this is just look at the pad. And the pads show you that you're gonna put one directly on the front. As you gently roll the baby over, you're going to put the other directly on the back. So if you have to shock an adult or even worse, a kid or a baby, just simply read the package. And if you're not sure where the pads ought to go, look at the picture. It will clue you in whether it's a baby, a kid or a big person as to where to properly place your pads.